What's up everyone, iShock here with another quick guide to help you dominate the arc. In this video I'm going to introduce the mining drill. I'll teach you how to get it, show you what it costs to craft, and then show you where you can start farming mining drill blueprints because the higher quality ones are insane. The mining drill is definitely one of my top 3 new additions to ARC. It can improve the efficiency of anyone, but for solo players it might be the most important tool in your kit. Once you hit level 80 you can pick it up from the engrams, but you must be on the genesis map in order to learn it. The base drill is crafted in the fabricator and it costs 36 black pearls, 120 cementing paste, 180 crystal, 482 metal, and 132 poly or organic polymer to craft. Worst case, you can get all these materials from the Hexagon Exchange Shop, but I definitely recommend farming the majority, if not all of the materials. I'll be showing places to farm them in my survival series. The base drill has 700 durability and 100% damage. The drill lasts a long time, I don't find myself repairing them too often, though I am using a slightly higher quality ones that I got from Mission Rewards. You'll need to have gasoline in your inventory to operate the mining drill. It consumes them pretty fast, so depending on how much mining you plan on doing, I'd bring some extra. I generally carry about 20 to 50 gasoline on me. Gas is really cheap to make and can be crafted in a regular forge or an industrial forge. Just put oil and hide inside and it'll begin automatically producing gasoline. No need to click or craft anything. Next let's talk about farming blueprints for better mining drills real quick before we get into using and operating the drill. Currently I found that the mission Ruffle Some Feathers on Gamma has pretty consistent drill drop. It's in the Arctic biome on Genesis. For me I get either a mining drill or a mining drill blueprint every other run. And usually if not a drill I at least get some tech claws or other decent items instead. The mission is one of the hunt type missions. You'll be required to track down a Utyrannus and kill it. I was using a pretty average bred manic armor for it. There's lots of decent mountains and elevation around the spots the mission will have you fight though. So if you bring a rage weapon and plenty of ammo or have any ranged damaged dinosaurs that you can get above and then just shoot down, the mission's really simple. Maybe just a bit more time consuming. My manas aren't strong enough to face tank it, I definitely die, though sometimes I'll face tank like half my life on the last pull to kill all the adds quickly and then jump up and ice beam the big boy. I cleared the mission in under 10 minutes sometimes, but my first few with bad storms took as much as 30 minutes or more because I just couldn't find the tracks. I also got several drills from Dodo Ball when Genesis first launched, but I believe the drops were drastically changed from there, and after many more games I've never gotten another drill, so I'd stick with the Ruffle Some Feathers mission. Now that you know how to get the base mining drill and potentially get higher drills or blueprints from missions, let's get into the drill and why it's so absurdly good. The drill's gathering rate and convenience are hard to compete with. It reduces the weight of metal, wood, and stone by one fourth and recently had its gathering buff by 33%. This means if you could normally run 250 worth in your inventory, you can now carry 1000. Or if you're on a Procoptodon like me with 2500 carry weight, I can carry 10,000 weight of metal as long as I have the mining drill in hand. It can also gather element shards from Genesis, element veins on extinction, harvest trees for some wood and get tons of thatch, harvest berries very efficiently and also get tons of fiber, and also gather crystal, obsidian, flint, pearls, and black pearls, though no weight reduction as far as I've seen. Maybe not great for all these, but it's definitely capable at least. It's Art's universal remote. I believe it can also damage structures and PvP, unless that's changed, even metal if I'm not mistaken. Just pretty slowly, but you could use it as an early raider if you're lucky enough to pull one for a mission or someone's inventory. You can either just gather them and run the materials to upload or home, or take a dino with a ton of carry weight and ride on its back between nodes. The materials do not need to be gathered by the drill to gain the weight reduction. You can pull out a huge amount of any of these materials into your inventory from storage or dino and then pull out the drill and freely move around. So it can be useful in situations for other than just gathering, and it doesn't require it to be on either. Even without gas, it'll reduce the weight. But, a very important note, if the drill breaks, it will not give the weight reduction. So don't drill till you pop or you're going to be dropping your inventory to start moving again. Also the drill can overheat, but when you get comfortable using the drill, you almost have to try to do it intentionally for this to happen. You'll simply be tapping it to be more efficient with gas and never overheat it once mastered. It only takes a touch for a metal node to be completely harvested. I take a Procoptodon with about 2500 weight out and I can carry over 10,000 raw metal back within maybe 5 minutes flat. It's insane. Now if you're an experienced player and you're used to slot capping with crabs, ankies, terries and whatever and whip transferring or terminal uploading, you may not be super impressed at first glance, but I think once you get out and see what an individual player can do with it, you'll find it's something that's going to stay on deck in your toolkit. And with that I think that about wraps it up. If you learned anything from this video or found it helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. Seeing my little channel grow in these crazy quarantine times really means a lot, so smash that button for me. And also be sure to share the video with your friends on Discord and whatnot so you and your tribe mates can gather up to the next level of progression. Gone to the days when your tribe mates could say, but I was the only one on so I couldn't gather anything. Show them this video. I've also started a stay at home survival series. Click on the iShock logo or the videos on screen to start watching now.
Thanks everyone. I hope you're all doing well and staying safe. Peace. Thank you.